All right, this is probably one of the simplest repairs you can make to a um, motor or, or a you know, small engine, and that is to replace the starter cord. Usually, you can just take the old cord, tie a new knot in it, and then stick it back through the handle, or stick it back through the handle, then turn and tie a knot in it. Other way, it doesn't work so well. But my handle was already sort of less than ideal before I broke off the cord. So I bought a new handle and I'm going to install that. So I took off the uh, pull starter and it just has four little bolts in it. So I took that off and now I'm going to have to put the wind it up, put the cord in the hole, and then through the little um, hole that corresponds, you'll line that up so that the inner hole lines up with the outer hole, so you can stick that cord through there and tie the knot. But you want to have tension on that thing before you stick it through so that when you know it recoils the the cord is inside and, and it recoils right so you, you pull it out and then the cord will go back in that's the idea it took me two stores to get that thing but um, now I'm ready to go ahead and put the cord on all right so since I've got this uh, now connected on the inside, I put the clothespin in here to keep it from recoiling. Put a knot in the end and fed it through that way. But I wanted to show you the knot I'm making. Now there's a regular, you know, overhand knot. But what I've, what I like to do is just give it another loop in the same direction. And that's going to add a little more bulk to that knot and help it to, uh, you know, take up some additional space so it doesn't pull back through the handle. And it's a very stable uh, knot to make. And um, you see when you're done, it turns out pretty nice. Nice little knot so that it won't go back through the handle. Now I measured that, but it seems like it's plenty long, although this skinnier cord will certainly fit in there with no problem uh, because it's not going to take up as much room when it's coiled up. I'll save that old cord, probably won't be able to find it if I need it, but I'll save that old cord in case this new one is just too flimsy. The next thing to do is uh, just to release the tension on that so now that it's back in there I've got uh, when it's in place I've got enough tension to kind of hold it in place while you know while it's not in use and the very next thing to do is just put those screws back in tighten them up and then it's ready to go